How may I love you today? How may I help you today? <sighs> by sharing my story, by sharing my light, by sharing me, which is love itself, light itself, as we all are, divine light love and vessels for divine light love. And the divine light love is source, is God in, with and through us the Divine Father, the Divine Mother, and we are the Divine Children. So we have a Daddy God, Mama God, and we are Daughter God or Son God. Um, and that fulfills the law of oneness. Uh, there are universal laws, not because we've been told certain rules, but because of how life just works. And we like to call it Murphy's Law sometimes you know um, like the law of gravity we all know gravity is a rule and rule and law not being um, of behavior what to do not to do but of just how things are how the universe works how does it work what are the rules of how the universe works so knowing the divine laws is very important, such as as within oneself, so without oneself. So our physical external reality is a projection of our internal. Um, how we are on the inside is how we are on the outside. The more spiritual wealth you have, the more material wealth you have. Um, and material wealth doesn't always mean like money and possessions. It could be the strength, the energy to be happy in relationships, to grow and evolve and, and learn of life. Um, yeah, so reading up on the universal laws, I highly recommend. Um, also, the way of living energetically and spiritually. In essence, everything is spiritual, is an energy, um, because we first have the energy, so when we're sent the energy of love, we then perceive it in our minds, oh, I'm, I'm feeling loved as our, as our thought, wow, this is amazing, like, thank you, grateful, appreciative, when someone you know shows you love through any the languages of of gifts of words of service of time and there's one other i've forgotten but the languages of love um we all have preferences and how we like to be loved um so enriching your relationships with knowing how someone prefers to be loved is ideal that way you can cause the person to really feel loved so yeah, when there's the energy of love, we then think that, you know, thank you, appreciate that. And then we feel it, the emotions, and then there's the action where we like say thank you um, or give something back because relationships are give and take, equal energy exchange, other healthy relationships. And it doesn't mean that you have to give back straight away. For example, I've received so much help and support in a time where I've needed it and I have not yet given back but I will in the future because we take turns in being strong for each other and with each other. Um, and living energetically means every day my routine is to read up on my energy. So uh, first thing I do is check my angel mail because um, we all have spirit guides and the angels are part of our spirit guides. Everyone has a guardian angel. Um, I have one and I invoke mine um, twice a day with a specific ritual, with specific words, because words are spells. Um, witchcraft is the same as prayer, because you're just manipulating energies for intentions. So when you're praying for someone, please God help them, you're feeling empathy sympathy for someone and then you're speaking the words for God help them um, which is a spell words are spell so what you say becomes what you think becomes because your thoughts are also words um, yeah so reading up on energies um, you have the horoscope I, I use an astrology app a numerology app 
Um, I have the website for Angel Mail. I have meditations that I do through the New Earth Academy with my Guru Vishnu. Um, I have um, Kerry Kay's help and support online. Um, I've been it from Roman Zazoni with recovering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, and they're the ways that I, I help myself and how I live that I recommend to others. Um, it's just, it's free apps when it comes to neurology, astrology and tarot reading. Tarot reading is when you can go, how am I actually doing right now energetically? And then you click on the app and then the cards come up of what energy your mind state is in, your spirit state, your body state, and then it tells you because the mind can trick you. So for example, today I was feeling depressed. I was thinking, I'm feeling depressed, but when I check my energies, I'm not actually depressed. And energies don't lie, energy comes first. So instead of putting my thoughts first, I am feeling depressed. I'm like, no, these are just my thoughts and I'm the awareness of my thoughts. I'm not my thoughts. I'm the awareness of my body. I'm not my body. I'm the awareness of my spirit. I'm not my spirit. I'm the awareness of it, the consciousness, the light, love, the source. So I read the tarot. How am I doing right now? Oh, I'm not actually depressed. I'm in spirit state. The spirit was in a state of worry, which is what I was feeling, um, through the feelings of depression. So um, it was just a little bit of worry with my security and stability because I'm going through changes. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm in, going to be staying in a state because our states change, our energetic states change. And we also have our aura all around us. So we all have our light bubble. That's why when someone comes up close to us, we want to back off because we have this energetic bubble everyone has their aura the energetic bubble around them which is you you are energy you are electric and um, understanding that through meditation really helps I mean there's there's so much free guided meditations I personally choose to pay um, someone a, a, an affordable amount and I live on the pension um, you know and I see that as my my medication you know like some people decide to smoke weed to medicate um, the emotional pain and mental pain just like you would take aspirin for the physical body people use substances for the emotional and mental pain mine I put that money toward um, teachers tutors um, instead so I'll do my inner work so when I'm not feeling okay I will do a meditation I will do some online learning about my energies you know read more of my horoscope my numerology um, and the tarot, um, I also use uh, TikTok, there's um, lots of um, guidance on there because I ask my angels to DJ my music sometimes <laughs> and, and, and lead the TikTok that whatever comes up on my For You page is actually for me and it is. Um, and I have to get the balance, balance is, is key to everything because it's not healthy to be completely dependent on others and it's not healthy to be completely independent of others. The balance is interdependence, where there are times where you are depending on people and there are times when you're depending on yourself because the goal of this life is learning, evolving, becoming more yourself, I'm personally choosing self-actualization, becoming a master of myself. Jesus and Mary and Moses are ascended masters. These are people who became a master of themselves on earth. And Jesus preached consciousness, which is Christ. Christ means consciousness. And Jesus preached this, the self-mastery, the self-actualization, where you ascend, um, you ascend, and then there's the coronation of the opening of the crown chakra because we have our, our seven main chakras. We have other energetic centers as well, which I'm also learning. Um, but yes, the root chakra is like your stability. The sacral, you know, is, is like the sexuality. The solar plexus is personal power. There's the heart. Um, there's the throat. So speaking, speaking and listening. We have two ears and one mouth, so more listening than speaking. The third eye and the crown. So ascension is basically going up the chakras, 
and it's like the snake. So this, you know, how you got the, the charmers, doo -doo 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 -doo. charmers for the snake to go up. And um, I am Isis, divine mother goddess, Egyptian goddess. When I say that I am, I mean that is who I channel. That is who I'm a conduit for. Because I am a vessel, a holy grail, um, a cup that is filled with the love light of the Divine Mother, Divine Mother Goddess, Isis, and I'm a priestess, I'm an alchemist, um, I'm still learning my powers and how to use them to benefit the world because my number one goal is that God be happy, pleased and loved and learning who God is, you know, God is angel, we are angels, our souls are like our God and we have our soul star chakra above us and like in a video game where you're directing a lower self like a character that's like this life our bodies are like a lower self or we and our bodies are lower self and then we have a higher self that is guiding us and um you know my goal is to 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 embody the higher self and become the higher self so isis willow sovereign um, is my higher self name um, and I chose that with the divine and that's my legal name uh, my birth name Sarah Louise Upton I chose before I incarnated because before incarnating we basically plan our whole lives we pick every single detail of our lives and I chose that name though my um, biological father you know chose that name in this incarnation because the how the game works is when we're born we forget everything and now when I say a game life is a game it is a balance because you know we do take it seriously we don't muck about you know we don't play with people's hearts um, and things like that so yes it's a game yes it's a simulation but it's also serious and it's really real really real so you know having that reverence and respect for life that gratitude for life is the goal the balance of the two um, and yes, of the two, my moon sign is Gemini. So we have, um, with astrology, understanding energies, three major signs that are really good to know and be aware of, to understand yourself, to accept yourself, to embrace yourself, to be yourself. And that's my goal to do that. So your sun sign is who you are on the outside to the world. I'm a Sag. So very much whew, determined. Once I've got my mind set on something, I go for it. But the, the, um, the arrow, Sag. Um, love horses. You know how horse is sensual. Um, the moon sign is who we are on the inside. And I'm Gemini, which is the twins. The star sign of the twins and I'm here to experience polarity contrast black and white I don't like and do much gray I mix the black and the white for balance paradoxal life and um, that is also linked to my mental illness bipolar and schizoaffective um, so I have been diagnosed my my men, my men, mentally un, unwell off medication and when I'm triggered I am unwell when I'm on medication I am mentally well I'm on medication now so bipolar is the black and white thinking the schizoaffective is obsessing and going in circles and switching between the extremes so bipolar schizoaffective blend in I was borderline personality disorder but I have really worked hard on my um, character and my behavior that I don't exhibit much of the borderline personality disorder anymore um, I do struggle between the black and white the extremes um, but the more I'm aware of myself the more I'm consciously aware of myself the more I realize the truth of myself trusting in love and mercy because it's really it's scary it's scary to call yourself out on your bullshit on your behavior and then love yourself through it to go you know what i have been an irresponsible mother i have negatively affected my son and i 
confess that to him. I am sorry for being irresponsible, mum, to my son. Forgive me. Um, I'm going to learn from this and improve for the next time. And it's, each time, it's like a, like a ladder, one step at a time. The next time I be a bit irresponsible, I'm more aware of it. And it's going to be better than the last time. And I catch myself, go, oh my gosh, that was irresponsible. Or, oh, that thought is irresponsible. And then I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be responsible. So it, it really is, you know, like learning to walk. New behaviors, new habits, new ways of thinking is just like learning to walk. Uh, a toddler just doesn't, just, just doesn't get up one day and just walks. The toddler first works on standing. So you, you work on being aware of your thoughts. Then the toddler will, you know, move with holding on to something um, with support. So you need support to fully grasp the concepts and understand with repetition, like affirmations every day on whatever it is you're struggling with. Like for me, it's confidence, self-esteem. So I'll listen to, it's just free on YouTube, you know, affirmations for self-confidence. And there's music about that as well. Um, and there's, there's um, Tori Jones, Lizzie Jeff, Manita are my favorite music artists. And there's there's more like that I'm, I'm becoming aware of and listening to. So there's music to, there's music, there's songs affirmation songs for self-confidence and self-esteem so yeah the analogy of um, a, a toddler learning to walk a baby learning to walk is like us learning new ways of thinking new ways of being um, new ways of of doing um, and it is best to live life from the state of being I just be how I am authentic myself and being as brave and courageous to not be scared of myself because there are times I'm scared of myself because of my tendencies which I send love and light to of my tendencies um, like I struggle with long-term commitment um, so you know I've made the decision to just stay single because I'm still healing um, still hurting so if people get too close to me there's a risk of them getting hurt because I'm still healing, I'm still hurting. Um, and my, my goal is to get into a healed state. When I'm in a healed state, then that's what I give out to in my relationships is um, sending out um, energy of, of healed state for them to match. That's how Jesus walked about. When Jesus was doing miracles and he was healing, he, he didn't just heal them. He said, your faith has saved you your faith has healed you so what he did is he was in a healed state he was healed and um, he gave out those frequencies of energy to those in um, who were in need of healing but only if they were ready for it and they were willing to for it and he didn't just he was he didn't chase anyone he attracted people who would you know heal themselves we're, we're our own healer. So everyone that Jesus healed, um, those people basically healed themselves because Jesus is walking around with this frequency of healed state for people to tap into and match if they choose to, if they are ready for it and if they want it. Um, and that's what I'm learning about the universal law of, of free will is I can't just go around and go, oh, look, there's someone that needs help. I'll help them. Here's help. No, that's not how it works. I learned that the hard way I got punished for doing that because it's a law. I broke the law by helping people without asking that I got punished for it. So I'm pretty much the cause of my own trauma is because, you know, I was stepping, I was transgressing the universal walls that I didn't know was there. So that's why studying the universal walls is so important because if you're breaking the universal walls without realizing, going, why am I experiencing trauma after trauma? It's because you're not listening to your inner voice. It's because you're breaking the universal laws. I did it to myself, really. And so this is why I'm learning, learning from the past now. Um, and that's how the past has its place in the present, is to extract the lessons, to send love and light into it. Because you cannot change the past, but you can change the energy of the past by sending love light into it. So when you have the memory, you can um, transmute the negative energy of that memory into positive 
by the belief that everything happens for a positive reason. We are here to learn and being human means that we learn from making mistakes. We are supposed to make mistakes. It is okay to make mistakes. That belief in society that it's not okay to make mistakes is inhumane. Inhumane. It goes against our rights and dignity as human beings. We are here to be loved, not used. I hate it when people are treated like economic objects. <sighs> people, I don't think people um, are aware that they may be treating someone like an economic object, like, oh, you're here to serve me. Um, so I, I've been like that too. I have treated people like economic objects, used people. So I am now that I'm aware that I have been treating people like economic objects, when I am at the shops and I am served by someone, I will do my best to see them as a person, to look at their name tag and use their name to go, thank you, Bob, uh, for your, I appreciate your time and effort with me today see them as a person so that's a practice that I do my best to do I mean sometimes I'm tired and I you know the awareness isn't quite there I'm just like okay thanks um yeah so it is messy healing growing evolving learning is messy but very very worth it so with this conversation I have jumped all over the place because I am a sparkling goddess, priestess, queen of myself, princess of myself, Isis, Willow Sovereign is mother to Sarah Louise Upton, to fill in those gaps from my childhood. Because parents are not perfect, so we grow up with gaps in our childhood where there were times where we didn't get the love that we deserved and were worthy of and needed and there's no blame I drop the judgments the labels the names even the stories and just look at what is what is is the past the future are both in the present because the past and the future are just thoughts in my head um and the present moment is all that is. So embracing the isness of life. What is just is. Is is Isis. <laughs> Get it? Is is Isis anyway. Oh, and another funny joke is you know how you have like your iPad, your iPhone, your i whatever. Well, now you've got your Isis, your sister Sarah, sister Isis. <laughs> because we are all children of the Divine Father the universe and the divine mother which is mother nature and we are trees of life because we have our soul star chakra always hovering above us like a halo and we have like our branches in the universe so we are always influenced by the energies above of the sky father sky grandfather sun grandmother moon and then we have our roots, we have our earth star chakra always in the earth under our feet, no matter where we're walking. So we're like walking trees pretty much and our roots are in mother earth. So we've got mother, grandmother moon, grandfather, sun and father sky all connected. And we have our guides. So we've got the angels, we've got the saints. The Ascended Masters, we've got the Dragons, we've got the Syrians, the Palladians. There's so many beautiful cosmic beings up there, out there, our ancestors. <sighs> so many, I'm still learning, it's just wow, it's just amazing. And yes, I do consider myself an Earth Angel and I work very closely with the angels because my one first goal is that God be pleased, loved and happy. So I'm always serving my Daddy God and my in my soul chart, my my um, key word of my soul for this lifetime is fatherhood. So embracing the divine father for fatherhood. Because we all have our soul chart. 
and that's a free website to put in your birth details and and read what your soul contract is what you agreed to before you incarnated that you forgot um, back to children so our subconscious mind our emotional body is our inner child because when we're children uh, we have just one sort of conscious brain and then we've got our root chakra and emotions and as we grow evolve then our other chakras form then the the mind the child mind goes to the subconscious and then we have the conscious mind and then the unconscious mind as we grow up so children are full consciousness that's why they're so pure so close to god we're born perfect and then we get layers put on top of us um you know and we become less of ourselves and more of like society and our family and so that when we become an adult we then have to remove the layers to get back to who we are and that's the game part of the game you're born you forget everything and you un you know become what you are not and then you go through the process of becoming what you are again by unlearning what you learnt of society and family that does not serve is not true doesn't resonate doesn't give you peace to what does give you peace and what is true it is what it is okay um i don't necessarily like it at times that's the polarity i have times where i see the beauty in it the amazement um the magic all that nicey nicey stuff and then there's a hand where i'm just annoyed frustrated had enough really just i'm tired there's just so much to know and learn so, so much to share um so much confidence and self-esteem to build up you know and so i do see everyone in this life as children because all the adults have their inner child that is very much part of them so you can imagine the aspects of you in a car so uh, there's five people in the car and each person in the car is you the driver is the higher self in the middle of the back you have um, the inner child and then in the passenger seat you have your ego and um, higher self yeah I'm still working on learning the different aspects but my point is that it is important to be in touch with your inner child particularly if you have children i am finding that because of the childhood trauma i have experienced i did not want kids i struggle to connect with my kid and i'm not always really that great with being maternal because of my childhood um when i was a child i really struggled so um basically i am now raising my inner child i'm mothering myself i'm mothering my inner child to emotionally mature because we've been living in the emotional dark ages where we were taught that how you feel doesn't matter you can't just express how you feel and even today children are being told you know don't cry don't be angry you know like their emotions are being controlled instead of you know letting them just flow out their emotions and this is not a blame thing I'm not saying, you know, this is right, this is wrong, blame. My intention is awareness. Just become simply aware with no judgments, no criticism. Um, you know, in the energy of unconditional love, of acceptance, belonging, compassion. It's not our fault. It isn't anyone's fault. There's no blame. It just is. I, I just be. It just is. And I just am. I am who I am. I am enough. I am who I am. I am enough. I am who I am. I am enough. I am the light of my soul. I am the light of my soul. I am the light of my soul. Bliss to you.